Father Francis P. Duffy was the chaplain of the Fighting Irish. Duffy believed that Jesus was a peacemaker, but a tough one. Carrying only his Bible and sacraments, Duffy came unscathed through frontline fighting, tending the wounded, and giving the last rites to men dying all around him. Duffy never touched a gun, but the French government awarded him the Croix de Guerre and the Legion of Honor. He was the heart of the fighting 69th. He was the historian and chronicler of the regiment and wrote some of the best descriptions of combat to come out of the war. Murderous and futile infantry charges against machine guns, mortars, and barbed wire were an unfortunate part of the common experience of British, French, German, Russian, American, and all other soldiers in the war. Father Duffy described the brutal, surreal experience that pointlessly killed so many on all sides. He wrote, There is no tougher experience than that of advancing over a considerable distance under fire. The trouble is that the men are being shot down by an enemy whom they cannot see. They reply with their rifles and machine guns, but they have only the vaguest hope that they are accomplishing anything more than disconcerting their opponents. When a soldier gets where he can see the foe, he develops a sort of hunter's exhilaration. His blood warms up and he actually forgets that the other fellow is shooting at him. Advancing in the open against trenches, he has only the sensations of the hunted. Heavy fire begins to rain down around them. Men are hit, the line drops, each man in whatever shelter he can find. Then the order is given to rise and go forward again. Spurts of dust are kicked up. The first three or four men to advance walk into the line of bullets and go down before they have gone 10 feet. And the others who have seen them fall must go straight ahead and take that same deadly chance, never knowing when they themselves will stop a German missile. One of the creepiest feelings in war is that of being boxed in by artillery fire. A shell lands to the right of a group of men, no harm in that, all safe. Then one lands to the left, to the front or rear, and the next is closer in between them. Then everybody knows what is happening. That square is in for a shelling until nothing inside it will escape except by a miracle. 